In the wake of the Second World War, the world was in ruins, economies had collapsed, currencies were unstable, and a global financial crisis was imminent. And thus, in July 1944, the IMF was born out of the Bretton Woods Conference, a meeting of 44 nations with a shared vision to prevent another economic disaster on a global scale. The IMF was designed to be the guardian of global economic stability. It was tasked with monitoring exchange rates, providing financial assistance to countries in need, and offering technical advice on macroeconomic policy. Its primary goal, to foster international monetary cooperation and promote high employment and economic growth. In the early years, the IMF focused on maintaining fixed exchange rates. But as the global economy evolved, so did the IMF. The collapse of the Bretton Woods system in the early 70s signaled a shift in the IMF's role. With exchange rates now floating freely, the IMF began to emphasize fiscal discipline and structural reform. Then came the 80s and 90s, a time marked by financial crises in Latin America, Asia and Russia. The IMF found itself at the center of these crises, providing emergency loans in return for economic reforms. Critics, however, argued that the IMF's strict conditions often did more harm than good. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the IMF continues to adapt. Today, it plays a crucial role in dealing with economic crises, fostering global monetary cooperation, securing financial stability, and promoting sustainable economic growth and high employment. In this video, we've journeyed through the history and evolution of the IMF, We've seen how it was born out of a global crisis, how its role has changed over time, and how it continues to play a vital part in the global economy. We've delved into the IMF's early focus on fixed exchange rates, its shift towards fiscal discipline and structural reform, and its controversial role in the financial crises of the 80s and 90s. We've also touched on the IMF's current role in dealing with economic crises, fostering global monetary cooperation, and promoting sustainable economic growth and high employment. In essence, the IMF stands as a testament to the idea that in a globalized world, international cooperation and shared responsibility are not just desirable, but absolutely necessary. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of economic turbulence, there is always a path to stability and growth. And that, in the grand scheme of things, is the real importance of the International Monetary Fund.